Medical experts have called on the Nigerian government to draft a legislation specifically to address all forms of assault on medical personnel in the country. The experts who decry the increased rate of attacks on healthcare workers made the call at the 40th annual scientific conference of the Association of Resident Doctors of the University of Ilorin Teaching Hospital. The health experts, while calling for legislation to punish individuals who assault medical personnel, however, noted that different factors drive certain people to attack healthcare givers in the course of discharging their legitimate role in society. Policies should be put in place to address workplace violence, and the policies should be made as a requirement for all place, uh, healthcare facilities to follow. Workplace violence needs to be comprehensively addressed more comprehensively, and it will involve the government taking steps to put in legislation. However, there is need for government to legislate and punish any assault of healthcare practitioner. This will go a long way to reduce and prevent this menace. This increase in rate of assault from health, health workers presents a critical challenge to health care system worldwide. Government intervention will play, will play a pivotal role in mitigating and preventing such incidents. The experts therefore advocated a multidisciplinary bio psychological, psychosocial, I beg your pardon, and individualistic approach as effective tools to dealing with workplace violence. There is a connection between workplace bullying, burnout, and some of these assaults that we are saying. That's why managing assaults is, should be something multidimensional. Because there are also factors of doctor, of the patient, of the management and the patient, of the system too. Sometimes we are concerned more about the services rather than also the system. At the level of administration and the management, now what are our expectations? We expect that we implement workplace violence response and zero tolerance policies. And a non-governmental organization, the UNIS Nachi Women Advocacy Foundation, has embarked on a 16-day campaign against physical, mental, and sexual violence in secondary schools in Bielsa State, urging the government and well-meaning individuals to invest their time and money in preventing violence against women and girls. CEO of NWF. Lady Eunice Nachi, who described the rate of gender-based violence in the States in the past 11 months as alarming, said their aim is to create a society where every individual, regardless of gender, can live freely without fear of violence and admonish the students to shun acts capable of hurting one another. The day has been marked out for for this celebration. So we are here to make our own impact and to talk to them about the gender-based violence and the need to stop any form of uh, gender-based violence. So that they have joined, they have been aware, they have been, the awareness has been created and they will go to go back home and look out not just for themselves as girls, but the boys will also look out for the girls. To arrange the world in the school, and to create awareness. And this awareness has, has helped them because they now know what is a uh, sitting days of activism. And at the same time, they too are also joining the world to celebrate. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.